that should be exciting. 500k Hong Kong dollar six max Nolan event, and we got some new faces. Here's Michael Soiza. He's been killing it in 2018. Chin Wei Lim. I think he's a much more accomplished No Limit Hold'em player. So we'll see how he does. There we have it. We saw a five, and now we see a four. Also, Sin there. World Series of Poker main event champion. Out here for the first time, I believe. Sorry, how much are you playing? Oh, okay. You guys both have me covered. On Sin. So always uh, a little bit of a turnaround again to watch. Regular Nolan Tolum. Really awesome that we have Ivan Liao at the table here. Immediately starting with a three bet yeah. from the small blinds. Nice. Very nice. We're playing 2K, 4K with a 4,000 big blind ante. <coughs> Look at this man. <laughs> I love Ivan Liao. He's <laughs> my favorite player. I'm so happy we get to see him play some Nolan and Hold'em. Plays both Nolan and Hold'em and Short Deck very aggressively. One of the series, he final table pretty much every single event. Won like one or two of them. And of course, David Peters at the table too. I think a lot of people are going to be excited to see him. The silent machine. Blinds are 2,000, 4,000. I believe it's a big blind ante of 4,000. Soyz is going to open under gun. King 9 suited. Takes that pot down. It must be like this. It can't be over each other. Normally can. <laughs> so this is Michael Soiza's debut Trend Super High Roller Series. Very first event he's ever played. I believe his, he broke his arm snowboarding recently in Japan, so that's why he's got that little sling. It's going to be really fun to see uh, some of these animals at it and no limit hold them. Like Jason Kuhn was saying, it's like his first love and uh, that goes for a lot of players. It's always a fun change of pace. It's funny, hands like A7, A8 much better in this game. Our ace four suited. Got a new wheel we can make. Soy is going to open the dealer button, 7 6 suited. Chin Wei Lim, Queen 10. Going to make the call. Ivan Leo's got 5 2 suited in the big blind. Pretty reasonable hand to defend with, given that it's suited and it's somewhat connected. You only got to put in one more chip. So it's 6,000 to win the 32,000 in the middle, getting great odds. Jack, eight, deuce. Chin Wei Lim picks up an inside straight draw. Ivan Leo bottom pair. Soiza with a flush draw. Soiza is the preflop raiser. We'll see if he decides a continuation bet or check it back. 
it's definitely always okay to bet the flop of a flush draw. Some players like to check it back just so they can have some stronger ranges when they check back. He is going to reach for chips. That's 13,000. About a third of the pot. I believe that should get Chin Wei Lim to continue. He's got a draw to the nuts. Chinway Lim does make the call. Ivan's got bottom pair. Once he sees a bet and a call in front of him, he's going to lay it down, even though he did have the best hand. Turn card is the queen, so Chinway Lim makes top pair. He's got the ten of spade redraw. Soiza makes his flush. So this has got to decide what does Chin Wei Lim call from the small blind. It can handle a lot of heat. Hands like King Jack offsuit. That's probably coming to mind. Queen Jack for two pair. Those are hands that can give a lot of value. Ace Jack. Number 40,000. Chin Wei Lim with top pair, a straight draw, a spade draw. Don't really see him going anywhere. Does make the call. Here comes the river card. It's a 10. So Chin Wei Lin makes two pair. Although it does bring some straights like a 9 or ace king. So it's not the best two pair. So he's, uh, he's seen his opponent check call to flop, check call to turn. Seems pretty likely Chin Wei Lim's got a pretty big hand. He de probably doesn't expect his opponent to call up ace jack, so he's not going to target against those hands. He wants to think about big hands that will consider a, a call. That's why he's reaching for 100,000. Trying to get some crying calls from two pair. If he goes too greedy, he might get a hero fold from those hands. So 100,000 is like a perfect size. Trying to get called by Queen Jack, Queen 10, Jack 10. Pretty tough spot for Chin Wei Lim. Check calls a flop, improves. Check calls a turn, and he improves. He's trying to figure out what kind of bluff Soiza could have. Likely the ace of spades It's the most likely candidate that would bluff. Maybe like an ace 10 offsuit with an ace of spades. Chin Wei Lin probably doesn't expect Soiza to bet like two pair plus because of the four straight out there and the flush. So he thinks it's very polarizing. It's going to give it up. Nice lay down. <coughs> Too bad. I think so. I don't know.
action on Flink. Alright, so it looks like he min raised, got called from Chun in the big blind. Two really solid hands. So Chun's got a straight draw. I think if he wanted to, he can represent a straight pretty good. He's calling from a big blind. That's why he is betting. Going to get a lot of better hands hey, to fold, like ace on? jack, ace deuce. Not gonna get a pair to fold for this price. Yep. Sounds like Jason Kuhn. <laughs> so two pair on the river. Chun just got king high. Oh, it's reaching for chips. 60,000. like Flink wants to call here. It's a pretty good bluff, actually. Your opponent's going to call you with, like, Jack-9. Ace is pretty scary for those type of hands. Jack-8. Yeah. You can represent the 7 so easily. Flink's not even snap calling because it looks very credible. Yeah, it's, it's just very unlikely that the Ace helps your opponent as well. Oh! Nice. Got the bluff through. Wow. Toon has built that image like, oh, he's quite a little bit tighter. But he's been bluffing yeah. away lately. Yeah. Table three. What up, dude? Oh, you got my stash. Okay, Table three. Where's the table three? It's day four here in Jeju. The days are just racing away, but that means it's the final day for the 500k No Limit Hold'em six-handed event. Now the field has 23 players left and it's absolutely stacked with superstars. Let's just have a look at the four tables here. On the first table we have Daniel Devores, Sam Greenwood on the end there. That's going to be a tough person to have on your left. Here we have famous Eric Seidel. I still feel like I'm watching a film when I see Seidel. And over here on the third table, <laughs> scary line up here. You have Peter Jetton, and to his left is Green Kenny. To his left is Nick Petrangelo, and to his left is the dealer, because that's how poker works. And the man holding the chip lead is seat two at this table, Michael Souza. He's sporting a broken arm at the moment, poor guy, broken in five places, snowboarding. And on the feature table, you have Jason Kuhn, Ivan Leo, Randy Lou's favorite player to watch. I think there's gonna be fireworks up here today. So as we said earlier, we are playing to a winner today. The bubble will be 10th place, 9th place will be our first oh, cash, $143,000 for that. Um, so a little bit more than uh, double the buy in first place prize, close to one and a half million dollars. Yeah, second place is also going to get a million dollars. Wow. So two players will get a million. And then in the future events, it's going to be multiple players getting a million dollars at least. <laughs> this is a six max tournament, so it won't be the final nine making a final table. Mm. King Queen, Paul Foy, gonna open it up. Davies in the cutoff of Jack 10 offsuit. It's not quite the same hand as short deck, so he pitches it. Ace 3 suited for Jason. He's got the dealer button. There's enough chips to play for, so he is going to call. I think we're going to have a four way pot coming up, unless Ivan 
does something extreme. <laughs> Action on Ivan Leo to big blind. He's a hole Whoa. in. <laughs> Ivan Leo. So most players would just call here. I think he's found an opportunity to pick up like 100,000 chips just now, right now. <laughs> this, is, this is tough to react to. He's shoving for about 30 big blinds, so the players behind him can't really call him too light. He's really only worried about Paul Foy, who's got 22 big blinds. King Queen, this is, this is not an easy call at all. His opponent could easily have like Ace Queen, Ace King, Ace Jack. They all play this way. And he has two people behind him as well. Yeah, that, he has to think about that too. Someone could easily have slow played a big hand. Yeah, especially because Paul only has 20 big blinds, so slow playing becomes pretty easy against those kind of stacks because there's a big chance you're going to get all the money in anyway. I mean, the, the thing that's going through his head here, oh, Ivan, Ivan, it's Ivan, it's Ivan. Yeah, I think most players he would have folded already. It's just very annoying. He's playing the player right now. Sometimes Ivan does wake up with hands. He's thinking about how often does Ivan just shove here right now. He really wants to call. You can see it. So action on Paul Fall. He's used multiple shot clocks so far. Wow, he wow. makes the call of King Queen. That is a really good call. That's impressive. That <laughs> Oh my god, how sick are you guys? I had the best hand. What do you got? I had an ace three of spades. Wow. Yeah, that almost worked. But I even still got 40%. Yeah, let's not forget. It's an easy call, right? No? I mean, if he's got me. Yeah. Easy yeah, goal, I mean, not yeah. anymore. Ah, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 man. Oh, oh, oh what a sweat. Yeah. 11 out. Yeah, Here comes the river card for Paul. Oh, it's an eight. No. I must say, look, oh, hey. Paul's been eliminated. Good luck, guys. All right, Paul. Hey, man. Monster. He made a he great call. I introduced but he's, you, my friend. They're I'm all just laughing. I am yeah. Jason. I'd like to be your friend. <laughs> so let's take a look at the <laughs> outer table, the red table. There's Chun. He's going to lay his down, hand down. Why Long Chan? There's Ibinger. He is new to the Super High Roller Series, I believe, for Triton. Haven't seen him at the last two stops. Daniel Devoris. No he also was not at the last two. Well, like, the Triton in Montenegro. It, like, I no... Yeah, let's see those Ibinger. Five million in life caches. He uh, won a super high roller in EPT end of last year, so he's on like a really good run. Plays a lot of the high rollers live since about 2018. <laughs> Greenwood flops trip tens. <coughs> this is a limp pot. He's going to reach for chips. He knows that his opponent's going to think that he's going to stab a lot on this kind of a four texture.
So Dvorak just calls up queen eight high. He's got a lot of back doors. Turns to eight. <laughs> it's all about like floating a little bit with some back doors and hitting your pair and thinking you're good, but you're not. So Greenwood, when he sees his opponent check call to flop, it's going to often put him on like a seven, maybe eight, nine type hand. So I don't think he's going to want to check this back. Can easily get some value. So Thirty-five thousand. He doesn't want to bet too big because he wants hands like seven X not to hero fold. Action is on Devoris. Gonna make the call here. Thinks he's got the best hand. Can't blame him when he turns a sneaky pair. River card's a jack. Pretty bad card for Devoris. Because if his opponent was semi bluffing with a nine, did get there. The eight does have a good amount of showdown value. Does check. Now, does Greenwood want to bet with trip tens here? He knows he can represent a bluff because it's a pretty scary board when it comes to jack, ten, eight, seven. Then again, he is a little bit worried about the nine. This is a blind versus blind battle. So he's probably aware that the small blind can have a very wide range. Which is gonna make him lean towards the value bet. Seventy-five thousand. About half the pot. It's pretty tricky for divorce here because he's got middle pair. His hand actually looks like a like a seven. A seven wouldn't actually be able to handle the heat on this board, so he might be tempted to make a call just because his hand looks so weak. Just touching some chips here. Using time bank chip. So Daniel DeVorce did use a time bank. Wow, in. all in. Whoa. That is a massive all in. Can't please. That, that is such a technical bluff. Yeah. He's got a blocker to a full house. <laughs> and the reason, he knows that if he makes it, say, 200,000, if his opponent has a 9, he's going to call off no matter what. Mm -hmm. He's targeting, you know, some thin value bets like a 10, and he's trying to get 9s to fold. And you gotta look, it's 75,000 to 664,000. That's like 9x. <coughs> That's, it's a big raise. Imagine playing somebody who's willing to pull the trigger like this. Yeah, this, this is sh what shows you high stakes action is like. They're all fi fighting for these pots. So Greenwood. The bad part, though, with 10-3 yeah. is sometimes Divorce is going to do this with a 9 to bluff his Greenwood off of a chop. So imagine calling here and Divorce just shows you a 9. <laughs> like, yeah. that would be terrible. This is insane pressure. Yeah, Greenwood kind of wishes he checked back the river now. And man, if you're playing against such opponents, I can just rip it in like there. You know, maybe checking back to River was an okay play. Right. Try to get that value. He was correct that to try to get value out of an eight, but Divorce was able to step it up and one up him right now. One time bank chip in. Thirty more seconds. So 
This is a 40 big blind shove. It's a very tense moment. Yeah, he just got to wow. lay this down. What a wow. move by Daniel Dvoris. Welcome to Jeju, Dvoris. That's impressive play. Yeah, that's really impressive. So, Brim, stacks looking good. Tell us where we are in the tournament right now. Yeah, so there's 12 left, uh, 9 cash, so have uh, maybe a little over one and a half times average, getting close to the money, so time to put a bit of pressure. Uh, just play some cards, have some fun. Yeah, always like a great time here. Just have a good time no matter what. Now talk us through the hats briefly. Where are you finding these? These are beauty. I never wore a hat like this before and I was in the shop and buying a bunch of clothes and the guy who was helping me is like, ah, oh, what do you think about this? So I put the hat on and actually I stand in front of the mirror for maybe five minutes. Like I keep looking at it, I take it off, I put it back on. I'm like, can I really go for this look? And I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, I think so, let's get it. I'm going to say, I know I couldn't pull off this gear, but I'm telling you, you do. Somehow you do it, bro. But the one you walked in with when we first saw it, that was like the sorting hat from Hogwarts, right? No, same hat. The same hat? Oh, same it pops hat. out the top? Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's got an extender. Yeah, so it pops up. Look at that. Pops down. All the options. Yeah, exactly. Well, it looked like it's bringing you a bit of luck so far. So exactly. uh, wish you best of yeah, luck. Thank, thank you. you. So we've seen a soon really uh, slow it down in terms of hands that he plays in the short deck event, very rightfully so at the first final table. Raises here with King-Queen. We got 9 7 offsuit in the big blind. See a flop. All right, so Link Shu actually out flops Chun with bottom pair. Chun has. Draw to the nuts. Still has 40%. He is going to continuation bet 50,000. So Lang Shu with bottom pair makes the call. Turn card is a six. It's pretty good for him. And two might slow down because he doesn't really want to bleed too many chips in this stage. It's like one bet's nice and all, but maybe just check and try to a king, queen, or jack. Yeah, I don't blame for checking given how close they are to the money in his stack. A bet would be very effective though, against a 10, a 7. So he's reaching for chips. It's going to get so much credit if he does opt to bet. Remember, Chun's raising from under the gun. He can represent an ace really well. Yes, he's reaching for chips. I like it. You got this tighter image. You're barreling from under the gun twice. You know your opponent's defending wide. He's going to call the fluff of a 10, a 7. It's very hard for him to continue. Yeah, it really is. I think it's a good bet indeed. I wasn't expecting it. But I like it. Here Lang Shu, from his point of view, he's got to think that this looks really strong. Chun doesn't get too crazy out of line. While Lang is reaching for chips, makes the call. One more card to go. Now if you're Chun here, you got to be pretty afraid when your opponent calls twice. 
23% for Chun. Reverse the king. Oh, he gets there. So he gets there. Lang, Lang Shu would have to get out of line right now if he wants to win this pot. He actually probably thinks that his seven is no good when the king comes. The hands he did beat, like queen jack, king queen, did get there. He's thinking about turning his hand into a bluff given the flush gets there. Yeah. Yeah, if this was the king of spades or something, I bet would have a lot less merits because you just don't really uh, represent the hands convincibly. So Leng Shu is trying to decide how often Chun would fold if he just shoves in right now. You can tell he really wants to do it. <laughs> so Lang Shu. 420? Well, 420,000. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is the perfect, perfect move. It's all about realizing that you need to change your hand into a bluff when certain cards come out. If Chun can make this call, this would be amazing, but yeah. it's very hard. He really doesn't beat much many hands at all. Yeah, this is one of those things when you can see the when you can see the hands and you know he has the Queen of Diamonds and stuff, you can start like this whole reasoning on why there's possibilities that he should call, but in the end he's he's facing a four hundred twenty thousand dollar bet that would leave him crippled if he's wrong. Two spots away from a massive bubble. So he is going to use a time bank chip, 30 second extension. Even if Chun had a hand like Ace Jack, this would be insanely tough to call. He's got worse than top pair, second pair. I think one thing that has to be going through his head is how would Zhou play a flush draw so far? Would he be putting more pressure? Would he check raise the flop? Would he take like uh, a nice check raise all in spot on the turn? If he thinks that Zhou would put that pressure, then all of a sudden he cannot represent that much anymore. So another time bank extension. You can tell he's really going through the hand. I actually think he doesn't have to be worried about an ace because an ace would want to show down right now. So he's on a bluff catcher. He's really thinking about this. Got mm -hmm. second pair. Oh, he's going to lay it down. I don't blame him. It's pretty hard to put your opponent on a bluff. What a great move. Yeah, this guy is very aggressive. I'm happy to see him on the feature table. Uh, Well, if he opens this hand, he's definitely opening almost any two cards. Yeah. It's in the cutoff. He's opening. You can tell he's got a good grasp of tournament poker. Yeah, for you at this point, it's just a matter. Is Ivan in the hands? If he's not, I'm going to just completely open up. And, you know, this is actually probably the correct opening. We saw Greenwood fold Jack-7 off to earlier in the big blind, which he normally would defend. But Chun's got ace-king. Oh, yeah, wow. Well. Chun's probably a little bit annoyed that it's the literal money bubble, but you know, you got an ace king, you got a player who's opening any two cards in the cutoff at the moment. Got a lot of fold equity, and I like the all in. Has to do it. Wai Long Chan, ace jack suited. Definitely would have reshoved himself. He's only got 10 big blinds behind. He, he probably knows that Chun is not messing around. Then again, you only got 10 big blinds, which is really annoying. You're on the literal money bubble.
Can he get away from it? Yeah, I think he should use the time bank chip on this. Oh, important moments. It's a nice dealer button. All in triangle. Those are new. Wow. He goes for it. <coughs> Wai Long Chan is at risk on the money bubble. Ace Jack against Ace King. He thought that Chun was shoved pretty wide because Lang is opening any two cards. And it's probably true. And uh, Jack is dead. We saw Xu fold one. Yeah, that's right. So Mylon Chan's in trouble. Two jacks remaining. <laughs> Look at that <laughs> flop. Wow. <laughs> it is best flop for sure. Here comes a turn card. It's a queen. More chop outs. It's a river card. It's a two. Wow, what a tease. Wai Long Chan is the bubble boy. He's not going to get anything. Everyone is guaranteed $143,000. Action on Lang, 10 7 of clubs. Action on Ivan in the big blind. These two battling again. King, king, king. So Link Shu, she's got 10 high. Probably considering a bet because it's very hard for the big line to have anything on king, king, king. So Ivan's got ace high. He knows his opponent is opening a lot of garbage hands. Likely to continue. It's a pretty nice board for ace four. For as far as misses go. So Ivan does check call. <laughs> Four kings on the board. Yeah, you just got to give up on this one. <laughs> well, in all fairness, though, if somebody had a pair before the flop, let's say somebody had sixes, mm -hmm. they really don't do too hot now. But then again, she was going to beat those at showdown anyway, so you might just think, Ivan's not folding a high card to me, so my 10 might be good, and if not, he's going to call me anyway, so... Yeah, it's very rare to see four of a kind on the board. Yeah. Ivan does have the best hand. Does he want to value bet it? 500,000. 500, Just trying his best to make it look like a bluff. Yeah, I really like this, uh, this bet sizing here. I think she was probably thinking Ivan can only bet an ace or nothing this way. He wouldn't bet a queen or a jack because they're too strong. 
to bat in this fashion. Lays it down. Let's get back to the action. Wow. Greenwood check raised the flop with 7 5. His opponent hits, what do you call it? A straight flush. <laughs> That's a straight flush indeed. Now, from Greenwood, he's think he's got, he thinks he's got the best hand. He got the 7 of hearts. He also has a straight draw. Wow, what a, an absolute beast of a board for Zhu. And just the fact that Greenwood has this exact hand makes it all up much better. Lang Shu is loving it. He's so happy to see more chips are going in and he's not the one betting. He's drawing dead. A quick call. A quick call actually looks pretty weak, so. Yeah, I like it. River card is a king. It is a little bit scary because his opponent can probably have a hand like Ace King. Greenwood. Going to check your Ling Shu here. You see your opponent check raise on a flop. Bet the turn. When he checks this river, it does seem like he's kind of scared. Yeah. Holding to absolute nuts. Best time possible. Does he want to go for big value? 600,000. 600, Man, what a nasty spot for Greenwood here. He yes. blocks so many strong hands with the five. He has top pair. And the fact that there's three hearts on the turn, you know, his opponent could just call with a high heart on the turn as well. I like the smaller bet that he opts to do because he knows yeah. that Greenwood can't be that strong to check this river. Lang Shu is targeting a hand like the hand it is, 7-5, a top pair. Indeed, he has 100% of a straight flush. This is tricky because Greenwood does beat some hands that would bet and call check raise. Like A6. He's going to use a time bake chip. Because if you look at the betting, Lang Shu bet really small on the flop. It's going to induce some more check raises and more floats in position. And Greenwood knows this. That's why he's tanking. Oh. Greenwood's in turn bet pretty small on the turn. Let's it go. Well, good fold. Uh -huh. Good, good fold. Lots good hand, right? yeah, yeah, lots of stuff gets there, of course, but he had such a significant hand. He had the seven of hearts. He had a five blocker in his hand. It's, I mean, if you, as far as hero calling hands goes, that was a great hand to do it with. So that's why we say good fold. Even though we know, of course, it was only a pair of sevens, but let's look at some chip counts. On the blue table, Zhu's in control with three million chips. Ivan Liao, 32 bit blinds now. Blinds have definitely been creeping up on us. We've seen these guys battle for so long that all of a sudden, 2 million is only 30 bigs. Sam Greenwood's chipping up on this table. Very strong hand there for Shuling. Shuling getting really short, it's gonna get out of the way. It's definitely not back down from uh, an all-in situation. 
Uh, Leo's getting uh, much shorter now. He's down oh. to 30 big blinds. He's gonna make the call, try to flop a set. It's a reasonable flop for pocket threes. No Broadway card. Let's see if uh, Ling Zhu is gonna go for a continuation bet there. Yes, I'm back there straight, Raz. He's still over cards, of course. It's too bad for him that there's not a single diamond on board. Still gonna bet it. These guys have been battling for the chip lead at the table all evening. A little bit unlucky in two spots. Two pair versus two pair, and also the boat versus the higher boat. Well, yeah, I was gonna stick around with the pocket threes. That is a very nice card for uh, Ivan. She was going to give up for now. He's really going to depend on hitting uh, a queen or a ten, or maybe bluffing this ace. It's a very legit possibility. Ivan's going to hate that card. Of course, there's a lot of ace-high combinations that could try to steal on this flop. Uh, you also have possibly a king that he could try and represent. If you ever want to steal the pot, this is the best card to do it on. He knows he's not gonna just win. It's queen high, it's very unlikely. Okay. He's gonna bet 280,000. Puzzle solving time for Ivan. Sometimes ace highs will check these boards as well because of the likelihood of ace high already being good and they want to go to showdown. He doesn't make the call. What a call by Ivan Leo. Yeah, great read on the situation there. He wins this battle. It's a nice comeback there in stack for Ivan. Pulls ahead of Zhu uh, by a little bit there. Got to feel pretty good at pocket queens after you've shown down king jack and three bet pot. Hopefully he can get some action. Oh, Lang Shu. Ace King suited. Right, these guys are less than 30 big blinds. Both of them were a pretty big stack on during the bubble. They could be the first one out on the final table. Yeah. So Lang Shu is trying to decide should he three bet or should he just three bet all in? 475. So he is going to 3-bet, trying to induce some action from Michael Soiza. 
Yeah. I mean, I was probably, <laughs> it, it worked out, but like, I, I good boy. I might have <laughs> good <boy>. out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He is a good boy, yeah. Good boy, for sure. Normally. You got 30 big ones of pocket queens yeah, out of position. Yeah, oh, check. Checks out. Think your opponent's making a move. You'd want to get them in sooner than later. I would have, uh, I would have shoved that ace three too, man. <laughs> I would have put it. <coughs> All in. I would have so he it. does shove. Queens. I go like. Wait. Fifteen Click. bags or something? No. Listen that. Do you have me covered? Whatever. Like two point something? Like Point one maybe. Yeah. Very close. Very close. Lang Shu right. is the one at risk. Forty-six percent. It's very close, I think. I think you have to like a little, very little. Huh? Like oh. It's okay. All right, please tell me you follow some aces and kings. Yeah. <laughs> Open three bet, four bet, all in. Oh, oh good. Yes. King ten. Hold. <laughs> I have a king ten. Ten King ten of diamond. Over this. He asked, I answer me. What? Sometimes you spoil it. I was like, I was like, King of hearts. Oh, baby. I got king of diamond. Yeah. Oh, baby. King of hearts. I think it's going to be a dramatic flop. Whoa. 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 That is a dramatic flop. Oh. Jason with the deck reads once again. Five of spades. Six or seven. Ace of diamond. <laughs> Everyone calling for the cards. Ace of diamond or ace of hearts. I forget which one. I think a queen is fine. I think a queen is fine, they said. Turn card is a four. Boo. No, six or seven. Or four. Lang Shu needs a lot of cards to hit to stay in this tournament. Sama! Fed aboard. Sama! Six, seven, or four. Smorica! It's a three. Sweat. GG. You gotta count maybe, just in case. So Michael Soiza gonna eliminate Lang Shu in seventh place. Yeah, put some back in first. for you, but 10%. 2.3, just, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think we are really a big play. Good game. Wow, Lang Shu actually played really well this whole tournament. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. How many do you have, bro? You know, honestly, in my head, right, when you 3-bet, right, I was thinking, please let me win this split, please let me win this split. Bro, yeah. <laughs> How many do you have? 2.3. Uh, 2.3, yeah. So he cashes for 241,000 US dollars. Yeah, it's like 2.3, right? He yep. is the first one out at this final table. 2.1. Mikey, Mikey. No, I should have seven and a half, baby. I commuted one. You should ask oh, him. More I'm to call, sure. you're saying. Yeah, so okay. six, six more to call, I said. I don't think you should call. I don't know. But everyone shot? Definitely close. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> no idea. Jason Kuhn's got queen 10, undergun 10 big blinds. What'd you have? King 5. Shoot it. Hold on. Hold on. All in. All in. So he's going to shove all in here. Ten big blinds. Michael Soyz has got pocket fours. He knows that Jason Kuhn's gonna want to shove soon because the big blind ante is coming next hand. Million. Million fifteen. Michael Soiza does still have four players to act behind him. So he's just going to lay it down. Pocket nines for Bryn Kenny. He's not going to fold. So he shoves. Get easy on me. Flip. So we've got a coin flip. Hey, One nine. It's been folded. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Just in case shit like that happens. <laughs> this, this is a great win, win, lose, or draw for me. This is a great scenario given that I have a queen and a ten in my hand. Yep. 
There comes the front. Jason Kuhn is at risk. Turn card is the four. <laughs> Should just stuck it in. Jason Kuhn needs a queen or a ten. It's a deuce, so Jason yeah, Kuhn yeah, eliminated so, uh, in sixth I have place. I all in at a final table this week, I think. I'm going to try to do it in a million short deck, though. <laughs> Jason Kuhn eliminated in sixth, gets $306,000. Everyone gets a $90,000 pay jump. They're guaranteed 400000 Yeah. There's no way I could get it in if you fall. That's true. Forget. Pay jumps, baby. If I'm not calling King Five, I'm not calling Eighty Six as well. No, it's supposed to act and like use the little big money now. It's like. Thanks. Good luck. Good luck. See ya. All right. So Jason Kuhn eliminated. Everyone's guaranteed four hundred thousand for the remaining five players. They're playing for a hundred and four thousand dollar pay jump. They can survive to fourth place. Yeah. I mean. That's the worst. <laughs> Sam Greenwood in the cutoff, 7 5 clubs. Getting kind of short, so doesn't want to attack. Yeah, call, wait till you roll over your hand, and then roll it over. Ivan Leo. It's only 300,000 chips behind Michael Soiza. It's going to raise it up. 225,000. Michael Soyz has got king six. He's got position. It's not the best hand, but it's not too much more for him to call. So he will call. How much do you have? Uh, five. Huh? It's about five, about five million. Five million. You got like four? Four, 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 yes, four. Yeah. Flop is king three two. Ivan Leo flops a flush draw and a pair. Michael Soiza makes top pair. He's got forty three percent. They both have the biggest stacks of the tournament. Ivan's going to bet 225000 So it's a top pair and position. Just going to call here. Don't want to bloat the pot against the second place guy. The turn card is a seven. Does not improve any player. Ivan's got so many outs, he's going to stay aggressive here. 450,000. 450, Michael Soiza, he's got top pair, very weak kicker. His opponent has bet into him twice. This is a raised pot. I don't see him going anywhere because he's got so many chips behind. It's, and he's got up against one of the most aggressive players. He's probably going to keep barreling with you know, inside straight draws, flush draws. Michael Soiza here, of top pair. Gonna make the call. Mm -hmm. 
card is the ace. So Ivan's just got a pair of threes. Does he want to bluff at it again? This is a pretty bad card for Soiza. Ivan Lau. Think about, let's think about whether he can get a better hand to fold. Doesn't think his three is good. So he did use one time extension chip. Gets another 30 seconds. Oh, he's reaching for chips. 1.4. 1.4 million in the middle on a bluff. Michael Soiza just has top pair, no kicker. It's now second pair on this river card. Ivan Leo can represent a lot of big hands. He can have ace four, ace five, ace deuce, ace three. Ivan Leo just got these chips. 1.4 million in the middle on the river. Michael Soiza is the chip leader, and he's the one that's being pressured right now. I have him lay out on a big bluff here. So Soiza is going to use a time extension to decide whether to hero call here. The main draw he does beat is two hearts. Even four or five gets there. Call. Soiza makes the call of king six. Ice cream. Wow, such a big call there. Ivan loses 2.3 million chips. Soiza on 7.2 million. Calls him King Six. He's got a commanding chip lead. Ivan made a big bluff. How many? Couldn't get Soiza off the hand. <coughs> bang. I can see you tip, you can see orang bang. It's good bet though. <laughs> He's on the real thing. <clears throat> no, is Did he chip them? Chip them, chip them. Yeah. Seven for million from Michael Soiza. Come back again one hour later, everything may be different. <laughs> Hopefully not. Hopefully still the same. He's got 44% of the sure chips in play. You buy gem? Full lab, bro. For sure. How to jam? 1.9, how to jam? 1.4. Jam. Yeah, it's freaking big already. It's already like, yeah. Jam is side up. Jam is set up. Yeah. So Ivan Leo moves back down to fourth place. Bring Kenny is actually in second place. Staying out of the way at the moment. 72 big blinds from Michael Soiza. Wang Bay Cox in fifth place. 20 big blinds. We'll see if Soiza can put on the pressure now that he's got the chip lead again. Or the massive chip lead at this point. Pocket deuces for Kenny. Look, he just lays it down. It's because everyone is yep. so short. He knows it's unlikely to get a sea of flop anyways. Greenwood, ace three. He's going to lay it down. There you go. If these guys had two million chips more, they'd be raising these hands to use it. Their, Look at this. Their big one stack. One eight plus. Cox all in of queen ten. One eight plus. One nine. One eight 
one lane plus a reach. Michael Soiza in the big line with Ace-8. Going to make G the call G here. GG, he says. He has 43%. Yeah, it's in good shape. Stand up, it's what you need to do. <laughs> I love that. Step one, stand up. Yeah, they're both standing up. Yeah. Countering each other. Step two, queen, queen, queen. <laughs> Who can root for the card more? Now you gotta... Okay. Stand Jack. No, no, no. <laughs> ace, ace, ace. Ah, Civil War. <laughs> <laughs> you got me, but I think uh, 893. Oh, you look yeah, see, see, that's what you gotta ask. Yeah, 893 is like a uh, <laughs> flop, I think. Come on, it's a flop. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. It's a queen or a 10. I love how nothing happened on a flop, and two or three people go, ooh. <laughs> uh, comes the turn card. It's a five. G One G more sir. card for Bay. Stress balls. <laughs> Seven. So Wang Bay Cock going to take fifth place for four hundred thousand dollars. Very well played. Good run. Good run. Ace King for Soiza. We haven't seen a premium hand in a while. Thank you. He's got 30 big blinds. Go for a minimum raise. Oh, Kenny's got Ace Nine in the. Small blind, 20 big blinds. Ooh. This is very tempting to shove. Yeah. I mean, who could blame him? This is a really strong hand to have against the button. Especially a player like Soiza, who's aware to put some pressure on. I think he's going to go for it. He does shove. Soiza's got to love this. Call. Bring Kenny pair. in trouble. Hold, baby. So it's asking for a hold. He's got 72% favorite to knock out Bryn Kenny. Now this will actually make a massive chip leader. Whoever wins this pot, 6.9 million in the middle. Had a king. You have a nine? I had, a, I had a pretty good hand. I had King Jack offsuit. So, nice hand three up. nines yeah. left. <laughs> so far, so good for Soiza. I think a six, nine, eight, seven, ten, queen. <laughs> I think it was okay. Especially nine. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> Turn cards a oh, six no. of diamonds. <laughs> That's an interesting uh, one. At least it was a diamond. Yeah. Yeah. At least it's a diamond. Yeah, it gives Soiza a, a flush draw. So he gains two outs there for uh, Kenny. Here comes the river card. It's a seven. Good game, Bryn. Unlucky. Good game. Good game for Bryn Kenny. Fourth place finisher. Good game, brother. Just picked up luck, half brother. a million dollars. 509,000 US dollars. Okay. Everyone just got a hundred and seventy thousand dollar pay jump. Yeah, nice score for Bryn. I mean, in that position, it really is anyone's game, and he had a really strong hand against the button open. This is going to be an all-in every single time. Yeah, no regrets for him. I think he played really well. Yeah, it's he uh, was kind of like hovering that small twenty big blind stack, but he just knew when to shove. Well timed. Unfortunately, sometimes your opponent wake up, wakes up with a hand. We're in fourth place, not a bad result. I know you're used to better, but uh, how do you feel you played today? Yeah, I feel like I played great, so nothing really could do. It's frustrating. I had like a ton of chips when there were eight left, just lost a bunch of all-ins. Like, yeah, I just played well, so can't be upset about it at all, whatever happens. And of course, you're, recently you had a massive win. You're a big reminder on your head there from the Aussie Millions. How was that one for you? Still living off the buzz there? 
Ah, you forget about that like the day after it happened. So like, yeah, it was a fun tournament, fun time, like just living off a of life buzz. How much do you love the Triton events? They treat you well here? Yeah, yeah, great. I love them. I always come and yeah, I think they're the best high roller tournaments to come to. Everyone has a good time. Like, so yeah, I always come support them. Okay, and finally looking at who's left. They've been tough to play against today. Have you played much with uh, Sam? Yeah, yeah, I played tons with Sam, like all the time, play all the high roller tournaments everywhere, played online for a long time, so yeah. And Michael, is he, has he been a tough cookie to crack? Yeah, yeah, Michael is a strong player, plays aggressive, like, yeah, all good players, tough players for sure. Well, thanks for talking to us, Bryn. Yeah, thank you. We'll catch you next time. Yeah, for sure. Bryn doesn't mince words, it's so awesome. <laughs> I mean, it is cool though, like the, the way he means it, it's just like I'm just really enjoying like what life brings me and what position poker puts me in and yeah. winning the Aussie Millions is awesome, but it's like, you know, he, he has, he's in a constant buzz. So green one moves up to 5.8 million in chips. The blinds are 100, 200,000 with a 200,000 big blind ante. So it's actually a very big ante considering it's three players. Ivan shoves king six suited on the dealer button. Yeah, it's got 10 shows. big blinds. Two million, yeah. Just going to move up 25% in chips. Definitely not out of it. 25% in second two, something, right? <laughs> One steal. Easy. Easy. Your opponents still have to wake up with a hand. Sorry? <laughs> No, yeah, it's a turbo. Yeah, 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 we are yeah, playing yeah. a turbo now. 25% second piece. One shot. <laughs> So you have like 5.5-ish, five five right? Mm. Yeah, it's five it's now because I just lost 400. That's a lot. Uh, yeah, uh, two, four. King Jack four, suited one. for Soiza. And then five, yeah, five, four. Gonna go ahead and minimum raise here. Hold it. <laughs> There's the shove. Go. Don't think King Jack is going anywhere. I don't have that bag. Good hand. Hey, right, diamonds. Oh, bro, you just need a <laughs> just King so or Jack. Just, what is he hey, here just now? so you know. <laughs> yeah. Go anyway. okay. Just within a second, I had diamonds. All right, cool. <laughs> it's eight King Jack suited. So Ivan at risk. Five million chip pot. Send it. He's got the best hand. Fifty-three to forty-six yep. percent. Dodges everything so far. Yeah, it's a good flop for Ivan. I still have a six. Not a single diamond. It's hard to make a run on a straight here. No, no, no. I want to let you doing it. <laughs> Don't like that. I think a bit 10 on the turn. No, you still got a lot, bro. You give me 2.5 on A, bro. Fair point, fair point. Fair I mean, Ace does it. <laughs> no, Ace is actually better than six. Oh, oh wow. It's a jack. It's not over yet. Well, it's not over yet. Ivan needs an Ace 10 or six to stay in this tournament. Here comes the river card. It's a four. Good game for Ivan Lau. Got third place, two unlucky hands. The Kings was the big one. 676,000. Another final table for him, another good performance. What do you think about his play today? I mean, I think he played really well. He just is, he's fearless. And what is really cool about this final table, I think, is that he showed restraint in a lot of spots where he would normally fire it off or would have really gone for it. So you can definitely see as the tournament progresses, he has his eye on the prize. So a heads up in the 500k, Sam Greenwood against Michael Souza. Souza had the chip lead at the start of the day and seen it all the way through. But we all know that Sam Greenwood's quite good at taking these high roller tournaments down. Should be a great heads up battle. So this is a big blind ante. So actually, you'd want to play almost 100% of your hands, I'd imagine, just because the ante is so huge. Yeah. Yeah, the ante is massive. And think about this. I mean, a lot of main events out there from big tournament series have the prize difference here as their first place prize. Yeah. That's how massive this heads up is. You don't, you don't get to these situations very often. 
So let's start off heads up. Greenwood limps, Jack Nye suited, Michael Soiza with pocket sevens. This is a premium hand heads up, so he is going to raise it. Eight hundred thousand. It's four big blinds. There's no way Greenwood's going to fold. The question is, does he call, or does he really make a big play here? Thinking that his opponent is just trying to pick on the first limp of heads up. This is the very first hand of heads up. Yeah. He's going to call here. It's also very annoying when you just started the heads up and you want to get a feel like Sam Greenwood likes to play really small pots when he plays heads up. And immediately the first hand gets bumped to four big blinds. Wow, look at this flop. Greenwood flops an open in the straight draw. Soiza an under pair to two cards. It's actually pretty annoying because there's 1.8 million in the middle already. So I was just going to check. You can't blame him. This is a pretty tough spot. Greenwood checks it back. It's a turn card. It's an eight. So if you're Soiza here, you got to feel pretty good that Greenwood checked back. You know, the board pairs makes your sevens more likely to be good. Is it worth betting? The bad news is that a 10 would actually counterfeit your hand. Yeah, I think he's pretty comfortable because I think there's a big chance Greenwood would have put a small bet out there, even when he had an 8, just to not give high cards a free shot at it. I really like this bet from uh, Soiza. Yeah, you got to protect your hand, get some value. Greenwood most likely would bet a 10 in position. With two 8s out there, it makes it unlikely for Greenwood having an 8, so I think it's a safe bet. Greenwood actually has an open and a straight draw, and he's got position. There's a lot of reasons to uh, assume that his 9 might even be good. I think he's definitely going to assume his jack is good as well. Yeah, there's no way I mean, Greenwood's going anywhere in position. This call. See if you hit your hand. Maybe your opponent. Maybe you miss, but your opponent checks, and you can bluff at it. Yeah. Three point two million. This is the first hand of heads up. River card is a king. So Soiza still has eights and seven. Greenwood zero percent to win unless he bluffs Soiza off of the hand. I'd imagine it's hard to get value of pocket sevens right now after you bet that turn and get called. You'd only be hoping for a three to call you. So he's going to check, try to get the showdown. Greenwood, jack nine. This pot is so big, he can't just let this go and just check it back. He needs to bet something. Otherwise, he's giving up too much. Yeah, the king is a pretty troublesome card for him, though. Like, what? The, what is he actually betting here? Would he, you know, would he bet a week ten for value or? Yeah. So the thing is, I think the most likely hand he can represent is an eight. It's hard to represent because there's two eights out oh. there already. Why wow, he shoves wow. all in? Okay, yeah, that's. Uh, How much is it? That's a sick move. Three. Po this is the very first hand of heads up. Greenwood is representing an 8 and only an 8 right now. Yeah, that's a good point because of the bet sizing. It's an 8 or nothing. Yeah, it is very credible though because you check back the flop. A lot of players like to check back middle pair. Mm -hmm. Michael Soiza only beats a bluff. So you're Soiza here. You got to think about all of the combos you beat. You beat diamonds, they're missed. You beat Jack-9, you beat Queen-Jack. Yeah, he blocks 9-7. That's one of the problems. We've seen Soiza make a big hero call against Ivan, and it was correct earlier. Can he make one more hero call? Seven million chips in the middle. If he calls, it's all over immediately. 
This is also a shot clock tournament, which is against Soiza right now. He only has a few time bank chips left. He's already burned one on this hand. So he's just really thinking about it. He knows you got to eight or you don't. Got to respect this bluff here by Sam Greenwood. So he's just an call. excellent. He wow, makes the call. He does it. You got it. Amazing. What a call. Pocket wow. sevens is good. Michael Soiza is the champion. That was a $400,000 heads up match in one hand. Wow, what a call. Huge props to both players. What a fantastic hand. That is amazing. Michael Soiza wins event number three, the $64,000 six max event for $1.45 million. Greenwood gets a $1 million, $40,000 for second place. It was a great bluff. It just got picked off. Yeah. Man, it hurts to get hero called like that, but he can hold his head up high. Pretty good, pretty good. Can't complain. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Another win from Michael Soiza. He's been having a killer year last year and this year now. Look at that. This is the biggest win of his career. 1.45 million. So Michael, chip leader at the start of the day and you've gone all the way through to the win. How does it feel? It feels good. It feels good. What's the trophy like? It looks quite smart. Yeah, it's quite nice. We don't have one of these, so it's a good addition to the collection. Very nice. Looks swish. It'll look good on the mantelpiece. Yeah, for sure. And a bit of a change of fortune, because this, this looks painful. What happened there? I broke my hand snowboarding two weeks ago in Japan, so yeah. Uh, my friend Waikin said, uh, you know, maybe I should come and play, because, you know, God gives and God takes, so, you know, maybe I win something. And he was right, so thankfully so. <laughs> God's given today. Well, yeah. well played today and uh, congratulations on the win. Thank you very much. Well, that's a wrap for the 500k six-handed event. Number three, there's our winner, Michael Souza. Started the day chip lead, took it all the way through like a boss. He takes down just over 11 million Hong Kong dollars, which is about 1.4 million US dollars. His biggest score. Congratulations, Michael. Not bad for a day's work, eh?